in this video we're going to be showing you how to waterproof your 9x9 command tent free of charge without any chemicals. It's very easy. When I first got my 9x9 um, British Army uh, command tent it leaked and um, this was almost new so I was really miffed why. So I thought okay rather than spend a small fortune on waterproofing it with all sorts and you know with the um, thoughts that it could need doing another day again and again and again I thought that could be quite expensive quite time consuming and if shit ever at the fan there wouldn't be any shops to sell the waterproofing stuff um, a good friend of mine Bribo Outdoors um, he had the same problem with his arctic um, tent now what he was saying is said um, it was leaking around all of the seams and in my instance it did it used to drip and run down inside the window flap so he said to me all you've got to do is you set your tent up and leave it okay so i thought what is that it he said yeah he said he read up on it and had the same problems his new tent leaked like a sieve and he was miffed same as me so he said then what you've got to do is you've got to season it now what that actually means is from how i understand it if you set your tent up as good as an example as you can get it everything straight everything tall and make sure you've got good quality big tent pegs yeah because like me i just use standard basher, peg, um, basher pegs and when the winds did come the whole lot just fell over it's not good so get good quality stakes make sure it's really securely seated to the ground right and just leave it i said okay so how does it work then and so all it does is when the weather, especially here in the UK, it goes hot, cold, rain, dry. And all of the time them processes happen, the sewing um, strands, the thread that stitches it all together, expand and contract. And every time that happens, it, it eventually stops until it can't it really expand and contract no more. So what that actually does is it, it pretty much seals all of the holes that are put in there for the threads to go through. So in effect, creating a watertight seal. And it actually works. And this has been up um, around about a year and I only take it down when I go to uh, the, the gathering events um, when I use it. Otherwise, it's set up permanently in the garden. So my understanding is if you set it up, leave it outside for as long as you can, make sure it's securely done and the weather will actually waterproof it for you. You won't have to spend a fortune on chemicals. You won't have to like, use chemicals you just leave it and every time as I say it gets wet it gets hot it gets cold the materials are moving around and once it's done its bit it really does waterproof it and it waterproofs it very well indeed and what used to happen is the the rain would sit and sag on the roof area well guess what no more it just sheets off of it now it's unbelievable and every single thing that I've kept inside for storage has remained dry and even along the problem areas along here, as I said earlier, it just expands and contracts all of the material and it just prevents rain from getting in. So there you go, a nice little tip. It's actually called seasoning canvas and that is all it is. So check it out, it's worth a try and it will save you a lot of money. It does take longer obviously, I mean I'm doing it for about a year to really make sure. Um, I guess you only have to do it for a month or two but to be sure i'm doing it for a full 12 months i.e all the seasons so it is proper seasoned so thanks for watching guys stay funky